Natasha speaking to Sarah Farmer. Four centuries after they were driven to extinction in England, the country's first wild population of beavers has been given the permanent right to stay in their river home in Devon. Conservationists have welcomed the groundbreaking decision by the government to allow the family groups to remain on the River Otter. Our rural affairs correspondent Claire Marshall reports. Having a good old scratch, this female, around six years old, was one of the first to be born into the wild in England for half a century. She and her partner still rule this stretch of the River Otter. Now they and their kits are allowed to stay for good. Yeah. We're right in the heart of their territory here, really, but they can have quite a big territory. Mark and his team's five-year study helped lead the government to what it's calling a landmark decision. It's really exciting. To bring um, this keystone species back into the River Otter is, is brilliant. We've shown that people and beavers can quite happily coexist um, and that the benefits really do outweigh some of the negatives that also exist. The Environment Minister visited their habitat in East Devon to make the announcement. She believes this project could have a much wider impact, influencing how farmers and landowners are subsidised after the UK leaves the European Union if he wants a more diverse habitat to work alongside with our farming and our healthy and sustainable food production, then natural management systems like this that the beavers can provide are one of the answers that farmers could be paid to have the beavers on their land. Just walking along the banks of the river now, and this is a really good example of the creatures at work. This is a willow, and then here you can see where they ate away at it about a year ago, and then just a few days ago, there's this evidence here, and look how high up it is. That's how big they are. Scotland's beavers were given protected status last year, but there have been problems. Some farmers saying they've ruined valuable land and dozens have been culled. In Devon, though, the largest local landowner believes a balance can be found. There's a potato field which was, was flooded due to the actions of the beaver, caused damage to the crop, a loss of crop. Uh, they can uh, chop down trees in the wrong place. Although having said that, overall, there is a net positive for beavers in terms of flood attenuation and the ability to do natural flood defensing. The government will soon launch a consultation on whether they should be introduced more widely. Claire Marshall, BBC News, East Devon. Next, Jane Hill has the news at one. Time for a look at the weather with Chris.